Hey Zalevers, today we get our first behemoth team battleground rewards and that means potential top tier rewards. We got our last pull, perhaps could we get ourselves an early pro? Well, the deck is looking pretty stacked at the moment, although I will put this out there. I need to get myself a behemoth mail pretty soon, a pro, because these king of the rings are getting stacked. Like seriously stacked. We're gonna start off today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. No matter what kind of day you're having, good, bad, indifferent, even if you're having a bad day, drop a like on the video. Much appreciated. Love y'all. Getting closer to Behemoth Plus Plus though. Liking it. Let's get ourselves our first set of TBG awards in a moment because I do have enough tickets for a ticket pack. Right now, obviously I would take a Behemoth Pro, but the thing I need is them ladies. I need a lady pro. A lady. Let's go get a lady, hopefully. 25 tickets. 25 ticketees. Come on. Ooh, biomechanicals. At least got one. Mercedes Martinez. I think that is a possible pro. So I'm not gonna say no. And Andrade is a brand new card as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Is it a pro? Andrade is a pro. That's cool. And Mercedes Martinez. Yes, she is. Okay. That's that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. We did get ourselves a brand new star as well. So I've got myself a lot of individual single ladies, which I've just got a pro up, which I'm going to pay some women's Royal Rumble to pro up. But the pros on the swarm side are a little bit harder to come by. So I'd like to know in the comments what your latest TBG awards were. How are you finding TBGs? What do you think about the new guaranteed rewards? Where no matter what you do, as long as you finish with 15,000 points, you're guaranteed to get a winner's reward. That's pretty sweet as far as I'm concerned. But what do you think about it? I also personally think that if you win and you're guaranteed to win, you get yourself a possible chance at females because I think having no females in this pretty suck. It sucks a lot. That's just my opinion. Again, let me know yours. Let's drop those rewards. And then we're going to drop it like it's hot on the other stuff. Champion rewards, behemoth. Maybe we'll have some for the rest of the team. I'm not sure. Please, either three swarms or a behemoth pro would be amazing right now. Sometimes I have luck on the first TBG. Then the rest of the TBGs are, are really bad. What's it going to be? It's a ridiculous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what did I say last time? Could it be? It is. It's Mask time. Mask time. Pete Dunn. Uh, that's new, I think. I'm pretty sure Pete Dunn's brand new. And Apollo lose. Both singles. And But hey, Riddick Moss is a fortified three. Fortified three. That's pretty summon. Pretty something. Let's go and uh, make it happen. I think we've got to make that magic happen. Where is uh, Swarm Cards? Let's go. And how many Riddick Moss? I've only actually got one from the Superstore. That's how many Riddick Mosses I've had in this in this goddamn season. So we've got a first F3. Let's go and uh, where's the unlocked cards? Any unlocked cards? We've got one. Maybe this is going to be enough? No, not quite. So we do have one enhancement waiting. There we go. Not a bad way to start the video. F3, Moss time. That's not all though, because my good friend Axel dropped me another surprise, another set of TBG rewards. We've got one in 24 hours as well, so we're gonna have two sets. In fact, actually might get a few extras. He wants to get into Behemoth really, really soon. So I'm gonna hopefully, oh, he's got a fusion. He's got a fusion. I might just get that for him. See if I can get him some luck. Maybe? I'll just say I made a mistake and accidentally opened it. Anyway, hopefully you won't be too mad. Let's get the champion rewards. Hopefully he gets a behemoth or at least a swarm pro. That is what I'm hoping for him. Let's see what he gets. Claim it's behemoth. Team Battleground rewards. Give me some luck. RN Jesus. It's a by uh, Mark Mabacal. Cesaro, it's a Bailey, that's good, that's good, and Tucky, <laughs> oh god, he did say if I got a Moss time, uh, so Bailey's going to be a fortifier at least, uh, so I'll lock all those in, big question is, is Tucky a pro, because if he is, no he's not, oh that sucks, I might as well lock in Cesaro whilst he's here, yeah, maybe better luck next time. 
Let's get to the rest of it. And what I will say is this more is more of a eh? glitch more than anything, because it's kind of like, well, that's cool, but it doesn't really help. But if you want to wait and use it, it can, could be advantageous. Could be. But the likelihood is that most people won't use it because it just takes too long. We've got to get into the game first. I'm going to put my Eric card at the top here. And you're going to see that that card here, which is the, the Professor's uh, Riddick Moss, I'm going to use a card that has got very similar proc on it. So it's guaranteed almost to win. What you'll see is if I hover this card over here, the timer's going to count down. Now at the very end of the timer's 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever it is, what you'll see is it will hold and flash red. Doesn't work all the time this, but if I do this, when it reaches the top, it gives me an automatic card here and counts the two cards at the top. Even though those are still technically battling. So at the moment, we don't know the, the outcome of that match. I'm going to put in Andrade up here. You might get a challenge, you might not. So what I could do now is I could do exactly the same thing down the bottom. Wait for the timer to go. In the meantime, I'm just going to like comment on how marvelously bad the weather is in England. You know, the kind of like crazy crap talk that doesn't really help anyone. But hey, how's your day going? Mine's going really, really well. So far, anyway. We can only hope it gets better. Five seconds. And at the very end, you put that there. And it has counted my cards. Plus, the card that I put in, which was the glitched ones, didn't actually go into a match. But as far as I'm concerned, it really poses no risk. There's more things wrong with the game at the moment. So... Let me just show you one more time. You get to see it yourselves. Again, I don't think this really, just my personal opinion, gives you too much of an advantage because it just takes too long to do it. I mean, most people are going to do this and get bored straight away. So I want to keep one of my... And it, I'll tell you what it is good for. If you've got like a really, really bad card in your deck and another card, the similar card comes up, you could almost lock that card out. So you could guarantee yourself a victory with that because it's still going to be trying to battle the other card until the very end of that RD game. But for the time being, I'm going to use a big bad booty Bobby Lashley. Go up to the bot, the, the top, not the not the bottom, the top. And when it goes red, it gives me Cesaro automatically placed. And that sometimes could be a bit of a problem because you might put it there and then another card comes in. There might be a bad card. Like that Sami Zayn might be the automatic one. And... I'm now going to go for The Undertaker. So I've now got Bobby, Otis, Cesaro. But I'm going to wait for the timer to count down. And again, wait for it to reach. And it's going to put my Eric there. Now, it is going to give me the opportunity to face off Randy Orton. And I could have just let that go. So I guess in those situations, there is a slight advantage. But... We've now got one, two, three, four, five. We still got the five we stuck there in the first place. Again, it's taken me like four, like two or three minutes to play a game that could have taken one minute. It's a bit crazy. Let us know what you think about this in the comments. Pretty much guaranteed that this will be fixed next time, amongst many other things. But I still cool, kind of nah glitch for you all to enjoy. Question, however, is what's inside my login bonus? Let's find out. Login bonus primal. Login bonus primal Primal is 200 credits. Woo! And oh my god. <laughs> I think that might be my first F F3? F3? Cesaro is hunting me. Uh that might be an F F3. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Uh that is no, it's an F1. I apologize. I didn't realize I'd taken him out of like so many decks. He can have my biomechanical. He could train up my biomechanical. So, or my next pro can. Let's go and he needs a bit of a piece of equipment at least. So wait, he could just use that one for the time being. All right. Oh, this is the one where I forgot that um, certain ones didn't have overrun. <laughs> that was funny. So at this point in time, whilst I'm playing right now, Heroic doesn't exist. 
So I have not much left to do other than really get my reward. So we can open our Swarm Fusion, our first one. Swarm Fusion time. Do I hope it, you know what? I'll hope it's a lady. Give me Chelsea Green, maybe. I'd like Chelsea Green because she's out injured again. So I'd like to see her. I'd like to see her. Come on. Give me Chelsea Green. That's my prediction. Let me know what you got in yours. If you've done yours in the comment section down below. Claim it. It is uh, Timothy Thatcher, British boy. I'll take that. I love the design of these cards, man. Like these are, are less freaky than the Swarm cards. So I'm obviously happy with that. Jim the Anvil Night Height is going to go in for another fusion right there. Lock in Timothy Thatcher, Roman Reigns, Kyle O'Reilly, uh, Pete Dunne, Jordan Devlin, Bobby Fish. How much fish could a Bobby Fish fry? If a Bobby Fish could fry fish... I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, it, it, it's a mystery. Like evolution, it's a mystery. There we go. Swarm fusion complete. And hopefully by the next video, we will have ring domination. But one thing I can tell you, we will definitely have 100% is we will have Team Battleground Awards. First ever behemoth ones, maybe going to get more than one. I'm, I'm still waiting for a reply from my team. But just imagine if we get our first ever set of behemoths when we get lucky. Anyway, you guys have been amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to leave your comments down below about your latest fusion, whether it be biomechanical, whether it be SummerSlam, Elemental, or Swarm. I'll see you in the next one. Later.